Hey guys, this is Angie and I'm playing Night in the Woods and nice. I think we're about to nice finish the game. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Okay. Hmm, I like to go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at the smarty. <laughs> I try to remember every, every place I've ever been. Jeez, in order. Oh my god, that must be hard. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm not sure if it was really... All right, well. I don't know if it was really... Uh... I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. And the cops? Hmm. The cops? We called. They don't care. That's it? Sir, you say you saw a man outside? Sir, that's not illegal. Ugh. Getting darker earlier. But it's bright outside, so... Angus, okay, so we got brownies, got sodas. Yeah. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And, yeah, maybe lasagna, lasagna, brownies. I got some mix last week. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. That's true. Someone's gonna take care of you. Thanks, Angus, you're extremely good. Aw, no more than anyone else. That's not true. You are the best, Angus. So that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump. Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Do I? Do you cook it frozen? I don't think so. I think you need to defrost. Oh, or maybe not. Dep I think it depends on if you have a microwave or not. Maybe. I don't know. So, no word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? That's bad, right? Did you leave a message? Yep. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. Mm, cool. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. Hmm. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. Ooh, aggressive player. That's harsh. I don't screw around. It was a stressful time. I don't screw around. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Ooh, I'm so tired. I could like curl up on this on their bed. There's a, like a whole living area under there. Yeah, this is such a great idea. Like maybe not when you're a couple, but overall like having a bed, taking a space, you know, under under the ceiling then you have a lot of space to, you know, use for like a desk with a computer or whatever. It's such a great idea. I wish I could do that in my apartment. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. Wait, everybody shut up. Oh, I can hear steps. Somebody's coming. Who is this? What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? Seriously. There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Are we getting a vision? Oh, it's me! Where are you? Oh, maybe she fell last time we were chased by those cultists. I remember we heard a gunshot. It was the last thing in that video, I think. Yeah, 
Oh my god. She can barely walk. Oh, May, what happened to you? Are you okay? Oh, are we are we at the Is this the behind the food donkey? No, there's too much grass, I think. But it looks like a parking lot. Oh, maybe maybe she got around this um this fence. And this is the this is our street where the home is. But where is the home? Where are homes? There are mailboxes, but nothing apart from that. This is weird. But it totally looks like, you know, her neighborhood. Maybe the homes are on the other side of the street. I don't know. I can't do much. I can't even jump, so... Try to push every button. Oh, no! Is she fainting? Oh my god, May, don't die! What is happening? Oh, I'm getting a vision. No. Ooh. Oh, I like the effect, but it's still weird. Oh my god, is she dead? God is here. What? In this room, I believe that. Times like this, we can call out. What? And know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we are here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. But why is she... Is she dead? What is happening? That would be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explore the stars. And... And she loved to hear about them. She... I'm so sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all bunch of bullshit. Oh, I don't think you should say that in the church. Thank you, Selma. Mm. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski has always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. <laughs> that an asshole. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Who are you? May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of Cent Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is a landing the wrong way one time and... Oh, well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. Yeah, hopefully. I'm sure she... What? What the janitor is doing here? Dude, what the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Is they, are they in the hospital? What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine. For today, at least, ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor! Like, seriously, who is this guy? The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. 
Oh. Is she having a vision? Oh my god, I, I now feel like I'm suspecting everything to be a vision, but seriously, the stuff is a bit all over the place. Hey, we're back! But wait. I can still hear the hospital beeping. The, the machine in the back. That's so weird. Uh. Okay, I don't like the cuts. Like, suddenly we're here, we were there, and now we're here, and... Oh, we are moving so slow. And we can't go to the right, all right. And I guess there's one way to go, to the city. Where, where are you? Where are we going? And May, why did you leave the house? You can't jump still. I don't like the music in the background. It's pretty ominous. Oh, I think it's it's Greg's apartment. Oh, so May was the person outside. They heard heard her. Oh my God, B. Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, oh, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Yeah, that's true. I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh. Yeah, let her sleep. So, how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza what? Twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since past abilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money? What? Don't police our lifestyle, be. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Who is this? Look who's awake! What? It's him, it's the pizza guy. Peace is here. Oh, so they, so they <laughs> turned off the light. Uh, oh, what? Oh, I don't think May is feeling too good. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, no, no eating. I had this dream, or like a vision. See, I told you her, she had a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Yeah, I got that much. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. Bee's there? Bee's here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bee drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, mom. Love you, sweetie. Oh. I mean, it's pretty irresponsible that she ran off. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. 
like I puke, but there isn't anything there. So I like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. <laughs> For the moment, at least. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean, May? For the moment, still being suspicious. Dude, wild week, huh? I could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang, we should hang out more. Deal. <laughs> Great. A germ. What even was that game? Werewolf. Shed the gnar. Gnar? Three. I hope I'm saying that right. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, hi, B. Are ya? They've got Wi Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. We are a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's like 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can we all hit the sack? Gonna like wander around the apartment. Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do the lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos no weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Uh, you should turn the light off. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Oh, we're finally getting some answers. No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it would be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed, they never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like that realization like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's, huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up and he was just shapes too, just lines someone wrote. Not like nothing in there and I was so scared and angry and just I don't know 
Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with a bat. Just shapes. Jesus Christ, May. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my God, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to the therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh God, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was the statue of like the founder of something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes and he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pieces at once. I down cough syrups just to sleep all, all the time and finally I got up the courage to leave. Oh, and she came back and I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like, I don't know what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. Yeah. I... Oh. And she's snoring already. Maybe you should turn off the light. May, what are you doing? May. I hope you're going to the toilet. May, bye guys. May, don't do it. You're gonna die. Love you. She's gonna die. <laughs>